Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another session of DF Talks. And again, I do have two guests along with me. But first of all, I'd like to uh, appreciate you guys for waiting. I know uh, tonight's session is a little late because I had raid that was running a bit longer than usual. Oh, whole breaker, nice. And the two guests I have today are both from Hyperion, a native server of mine. Um, it would be uh, Rainy Lefay Le and uh, our summoner, not summoner, sorry, Bard. A Manastia Dartania. You're on Bard, Emma. No, Emma is. No, oh, you're in White Mage. Sorry, sorry. I'm like looking at the wrong icons. So, anyways, I want to kind of, kind of do a quick uh, um, introduction for both of you guys. So, Rainy, um, obviously, you both are female, and I have a purpose for this later on as we talk. But, anyways, initially, I just want to do like a quick introduction. Uh, so, how did you get into this game of Final Fantasy? Initially, I always like to ask these questions. My husband got me into Final through okay. 11 and then 14. Did you play video games before that? Because I know that's a common thing. My husband or my yes. significant other brought it in. Also, you're, you've been a gamer no, I, before. I have mm -hmm. been a gamer before, but I got into Final from my husband. I played WoW and Rift and Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online? Wow. <laughs> Star Wars! <laughs> <laughs> Sword Art Online, you play Sword Art Online? I want to play too. Please <laughs> tell me where to get that. Sword Art Online. That's what everybody who, who, says. Yeah, who would it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are you a Final Fantasy fan before uh, 11, or did you just play the MMOs and just became a fan overall after that? No, I was a fan of them before, but I never played 11. Do you have a Until particular uh, favorite Final Fantasy, and you, you, you can tell me why? Eight? Oh my god, I love you two again, because I'm a favorite of eight. Why exactly? What is your rationale? Just Eight's really brief. It's always been my favorite. I don't know why, it's just always been my favorite. Is it your first the one? The only one I've played multiple. Uh, yeah, that's probably why it's my favorite. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, I always ask that. Is it, is it, is it have to be your first one? Because it typically is the reason why. I'll tell you, I'm the tank. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. I'm just standing here. Yes, you're the tank. All right, so um, Emma, moving on along to you. So, um, kind of quick, kind of like the similar question: like, how did you get into Final Fantasy? Um, my coworker actually, um, they knew I was a really big, heavy gamer, and I used to play WoW. And they're like, "Oh, well, you'll love Final Fantasy 14." And I'm like, "Oh, I don't know about this." So I took some games to GameStop, but I just didn't exchange. I'm like, "Well, if I don't like the game, I didn't spend any money," and then I just fell in love. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Uh, for both of you, since you both, you both played WoW, how long did you guys play WoW? Because I've played uh, like four, three years of WoW myself too, so curious what expansion you guys I played. I played since vanilla. Wow. I, I played... started with it when it first came out. I played up until Lich King, but I came in at Burning Crusade. <gasps> no, you needed to play vanilla! <laughs> I'm kind of almost in the same boat as um, Emma. I played mid BC, uh, Wrath, all of it, and then I did the first tier of Cataclysm, and then that's when I just decided to quit. Oh, GG. And I know, I know. I heard good things about Vanilla, but I was at that time because Eleven was at the same time, and there was like I was a big anti WoW person when I, while I was playing Eleven, you know. Then I finally, when I quit Eleven, I kind of was like, man, you know what? And I was had, I was between that little break phase between playing MMOs. I was like, my MMO side of me finally craved, you know, to play some more. So I was like, let me give WoW a chance, and that's how I got into WoW. It's just I got MMO gaming withdrawals. <laughs> So anyways, moving on, um, so there's a reason, as I said earlier, that there's a reason why uh, you both, uh, I've, I've tried to find uh, female guests uh, today. And the topic I wanted to start and get the ball rolling with was, um, I'm just really, I was, oh my god, I got caught by trap. Good job, good job. But um, I was always curious, like, how is it, can you guys just give me a brief, like, how was your experience so far, you know, online gaming as a female, like, how do you feel like it would be different than if you were a male? Like, is there any difference? Like, how, basically, in terms of, uh, you know, either negative or, you know, positive, um, just socially, like, how, has, it, like, also your, your gamer as a female, even in real life, people knowing that you're a gamer, 
like do people approach you, you di uh, differently or kind of like treat you differently differently at all in terms of like both male and female counterparts? Uh, most people don't think I'm a real girl. How so? I don't play games. <laughs> at least that's what I'm told until they get me in vent or team speak or mumble. Oh yeah, the whole rule is like you know you're a guy unless proven uh, Girl otherwise. Girls on the internet. We don't exist on the internet. God. Really? Why? I'm not paying attention <laughs> to the floor. I'm sorry. I'm listening to you guys. It's fine. It's fine. I got Insuna. I'm a white mage. I know how to use Insuna. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. You'd be surprised. Insuna is like a no, rare no, thing for some reason. India. Yeah. I think I only heal. Now, oh, uh, Emma, along to you, like, any, is there anything different along with, with you? Um, are you talking about, like, in-game or real life? In-game and both real life, like, how has it affected well, you, in, like? Well, in-game, like, how, like, Rainy says, like, oh, gamer girls don't exist, but if they say they find out you're a girl, it all depends. Either we're really accepted or, um, we get hit on a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the other gamer girls. A lot of them can, if you get too much attention from the guys, then you automatically become a slut, and it's, it can be annoying being a, a, a female gamer. Oh, see, that is another thing I've, I've noticed too, <laughs> like, there's, it's, it's, for some reason there, there could only be one female gamer within like a click, because if not, the other gets, one of them gets jealous, and then I've seen like, yes. in cases that there's drama that happens because like, they're, like, yes. they're stealing their thunder, and like, that's how drama ensues between the two. It's like, like, why is that? That happened a lot on WoW. I haven't seen mm -hmm. it as much in Final, but it was really bad in WoW. Well, I, I think as WoW was more mainstream, and there's a lot more, just, just basically a lot, a bigger population, so there's just more occurrences. I think that's the main reason. There's just a lot more people playing it in general. Yeah. But um, in real life, kind of, kind of the same thing. Like... Either you get really cool, I guess, sexy points, or you get, like, oh my god, you do what? You must not take care of yourself, or you just sit around and game all day. Yeah, I, you're automatically I, a slob, or you don't take care yeah. of your kids, or work, yeah. or... It's but, the same in both in-game and real life, really. Yeah, um, but in actuality, like, I'm very successful, like, professionally, and I'm a really big girly girl. I love makeup and purses and stuff. I don't wear skirts in real life. But <laughs> Which is else. so funny that we're such good friends, Emma, because I'm not a girly girl. I don't wear makeup. <laughs> but I do wear skirts once in a while. But I live in Arizona, so it's hot. So, you know. What are you going to do? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, like, Emma, you, you stay, you basically seem like, I would say, just like, quote unquote, average girl. So, but do you try to hide that gamer, like, hobby of yours? I know some girls do. Or you are, are you proud of being a gamer and you just like you don't mind sharing that you know the fact that you are a gamer? I am very proud to be a gamer. Um, any chance I get, like if I can talk about video games or anime or anything else I'm really into, um, I normally get a chance to do it. I don't hide myself because then you're just being untrue. Yeah, I mean in the end it's all oh the as I ate the bananas I'm gonna pop one. No, oh, it doesn't matter. He doesn't need to eat them. I can cure through this. But you have to feed the girl. That's that's or neglect. The nah. How about you, um, Rainy? In terms of like in real life, like you've been a long time gamer most of your life. I mean, I assume so. Like, were you always a type just to feel yeah. like, yeah, I game. That's all good, you know. Yeah, I mean, because I used to even I don't say I hate to admit it, but I'll admit I even. Played Magic and hey I hey hey I I, I played Magic when I was young, oh, you know. <laughs> it 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 never really bothered me if people didn't accept it. Then I just would <laughs> say screw you and ignore them, and I really just didn't care. It's yeah. I did what I wanted because I enjoyed playing the games, and that's what I was gonna do. I was going to have fun. Exactly. I, because I'm like um, I was, I until I started being a stay-at-home mom, I wasn't successful in the the banking world, and so I had a nine-to-five job where I was a manager, and 
I have popping tattoos and I play games and you know what? If they didn't mm -hmm. like it, they didn't like it. <laughs> I really didn't care because I was successful in my life and I was successful in my games and that's all that mattered. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> now, <clears throat> quick question here with your, regarding your husband. Did you guys happen to meet through a game? Uh, we actually met through a role-playing base game where you actually had to type everything out. Oh, are, are those uh, what do you call uh, MUDs back in the day? I've it's heard about them. MUD. Correct, yes. Oh, nice. He was an administrator on the MUD, and I was... One of my friends got me into it because we both really enjoyed this book series called The Wheel of Time. And it was based off of The Wheel of Time. Um, just for just a, a quick explanation, I know maybe the newer gen people don't understand or don't know what a mud is. Can you just do a quick, brief explanation of what a mud is, actually? Just for people? <laughs> kind of, it's real old school. It's like before, it's like the it, it original, I don't know. <laughs> I started back in like 2001 <laughs> with the mud. So, like 13 years ago, um, a mud is just really a text-based game. There's you you don't see characters like you do on WoW and Final. You have to type everything you're doing out. You're practically always in character, so it's a it's a role-playing game. You could say. Yes, it is. <laughs> So, in, wow, um, I mean, I, I've only heard of it. I've never actually played. Yeah, it, it can be based off of books, off of book series. It can be based off of worlds like Final is kind of thing. But most of them are based off of, like, book series that I know of. Wow. I know, so, what, what, what was, like, something a, new about me. What was a popular one, just out of, out of curiosity? Like, is there like a main, like, there's only like a couple, is there a lot out, or like, there's like only like a main big one that no, people play? No, there's a, there's a lot of them. If you go to, uh, um, I went, I played through Simple Moo, or Simple Mud, uh, Simple Moo for short. Um, oh shit, I totally did not, I wasted my, my stun, we're gonna get ads, I'm sorry. GG. Oh, it's fine, all holy. Um, it's. Like, I, I did, I played off of Wheel of Time, and there were a lot of Wheel of Time ones. So is it kind of like Dungeons there and Dragons? Like is, like, is that how you, like, did all, like, um, content in-game? Like, I or mean, is it a strictly, like, lore type, like, uh, RPG? It's like a story that you uh, go through. I, there, there's both. There's both kinds. Like, the one that I was in, it was based off of the book, but it was based, like, a couple hundred years before the book started so it was the same world with the same it was a mirror world i'm being corrected by my husband and it was only 20 years before the book started he he was the administrator so he would know all of this stuff <laughs> that's that's pretty awesome but <laughs> yeah the fact that you like you uh you know met your, your husband or something like that you know um so anyways um to keep things moving, so there's a few things I want to address too. Now, uh, Amma, just real quick. Tablet. Sorry, um, what would you say, Rainy? Oh, I just said I had the stone tablet. One oh, drop. Okay. You, know, you have to pick those up, right? So another thing. Obviously, in MMOs, um, there's a lot of times where, more than likely, if it if there is a female like playing. I mean, a female character in game, it's most likely a guy playing. What are your thoughts on that? And what do you think, and what is your reason why you think guys tend to play female characters in, in MMOs? Because they don't want to look at the ass of a guy running in front of them? <laughs> yeah, so that is actually a butt theory. Yeah, that is actually an actual theory, yeah. But, um, uh, what you call it? There was an interesting um, article I, I read, because it was on my mind, and I just, like, I just googled something. And it turns out they actually did a study about it. Um, there, there's actually a nifty way you could potentially uh, find out if um, a female character is a, actually a guy playing it. Uh, they, there's, I forgot who did the study, but there's a study they did, and they did it in WoW. Whereas, if you wanted to find out if a guy was playing a female character, they uh, kept track of the player's movements, and they realized that guys tend to jump two times more as women, and they would typically stay like more away from groups and um they would tend to like i forgot what the third one is but basically 
Even though a fact that guys can like really adapt to like speaking like girls, you know, with all like the extra emotes and just the way like a girl would typically talk, Try a female to character would you. talk. But insti uh, instinctively, um, like actual movements of your character was actually uh, harder to mask, and you could that's that's how you could tell if it's a male or female play in the character. So I thought that was interesting. No, I tend to jump a lot on my character. That might be because I always played Dragon Age a lot and you couldn't jump in Dragon Age, but, you know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. So, yeah, sorry, I, I was gonna I ask know, you, I'm Emma. Weird. So, like, what's, your, like, your history in game beyond WoW? Like, did you play games before WoW? Oh, yes, I did. Um, there is an older RPG for... It originally came out on Sega, but they got remastered for PlayStation called Lunar. Lunar Silver Star was the first one, then Lunar Eternal Blue. And that's when, um, I've always kind of, like, I was general, like, a casual gamer, but then I really got into, like, RPGs and stuff like that. Um, Lunar, was, was that made by Squaresoft, or no? It was! Okay, I think I know what game you're talking about now. It, it was, was it on PlayStation, or Super, was it on PlayStation? Yeah, I got remastered for PlayStation from Sega Saturn. Yeah, Sega Saturn. Or Sega okay, TV. okay. I remember. Yeah, I know what game you're talking about now. Wow, I have totally because like you said, Luna. I'm like, wait. I think I remember playing a game a long time ago that had that title. I just couldn't remember. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean I... to interrupt you. Oh no, no, you're fine. So uh, what um, about it? My first... Well, my first ever game I actually played was on <laughs> regular Nintendo, and I uh, it was Zelda, and I played it with my dad. So, um, that golden cartridge. Video games have always been around since I was little, but I just really got hooked into them when uh, I found discovered Lunar. I noticed that um, a lot of like gamer parents who raise kids, like <clears throat> their kids, tend to oh, become gamers themselves the too. Oh, well, wow! That was interesting. I got my daughter's already a gamer. So now, now that you fully understand pretty much gamer culture, is there anything? You know, this is more directed towards you since you have a a kid now. Um, as like this generation's <laughs> uh, gamers are getting older and you starting to have families and stuff, um, is there anything in the gaming culture that you would probably not want your your kid to be involved, or like some things that you would feel like that you do, you would want, not, like you know, the habits of a gamer? Like, is there anything that you would not want your kid to have in terms of habits? Typical gamer habits. Uh, no, because I'm I don't really see myself as a typical gamer girl, per se. Um, as society mainly sees gamers as, um, I work out at least five times a week. I stay home with her. I cook everything. So I really don't see a problem with my child actually playing games. And she already has a DS, and she has an Loves it, and she has her own tablet that has games on it. They're That's all awesome. educational games, of course, but, I mean, she has actually gone into dungeons sitting on my lap and actually healed. Of well, course, she how old is she again? Button. My daughter is almost two and a half years old. Wow. Start, you teach him young. <laughs> I am teaching her young. She will be a healer, just as I am, and oh. her dad can teach her to be a DPS because that's what he. Plays. Okay, now here, now here's another question that I, you just triggered. I remember, I was gonna ask this too. <laughs> There's a stereotype in terms of girls who play MMOs, and it turn it typically is um, they tend to play healer types. Why is that? Um. I play a healer type because I don't trust most other people to heal, quite <laughs> honestly. Do so you feel um, like it's a, a trust I, issue, like in general, or do you feel like it's uh, something else, for, like in your for thoughts? For me, it, I actually used to play a DPS. When I first started, I was a hunter, and I had I was a hunter in WoW, and I also had a rep paladin in WoW. Um, they, my raiding group, made me go holy paladin, and actually just kind of fell in love with the whole healing aspect and you know it's nice with the power of having people's lives in your hands what can i say <laughs> um at least i'm honest but i don't know uh as i started healing more i noticed that when i would go onto a dps job i'd be watching people's health 
and if debuffs would be coming off, and a lot of the times they weren't, and I didn't pay attention when I was straight DPS, but once I actually physically started healing, I noticed those little things, and they really started to annoy me, so I kind of went main healer, and then it's really hard for me to get into a DPS job that I actually enjoy. I haven't found one on final yet, but, you know, more will be coming out eventually, so you never know, there might be one out there for me. Until then, I shall be a white mage and a scholar. Oh, that's interesting. How about you, Emma? What's, what are your thoughts on that? What's your opinions on that? And what would be, what would be the rationale behind that? Between that whole stereotype? Um, Do you personally, personally play healer? Always... Oh, go ahead. I did, um, my second class is a healer. My first class is um, DPS. I normally just, <laughs> even when I played WoW, I was a DPS. And I was actually a hunter DPS. And now in uh, final, I'm a bard. So... Um, a little history about me personally is as a female, I'm six foot three. So I'm holy like, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, five. You're taller than me. Yeah, I'm just a five seven Asian boy. So, so I sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Very, no, you're fine. I'm very very tall, and so like I've always liked that like the Amazonian culture of like you know these big women, tall women, and they're like archers and just badass and sexy as hell. So <laughs> that's a little bit like where I normally go with like the, the archery class. Okay, so you don't really follow the typical like, oh, uh, you know, I'm a girl, so my, what my thoughts were in terms of like why um, women tend to play healer classes was I always thought it was like the motherly instinct to take care of the party, you know, they felt like it was their responsibility <laughs> for the well-being of the party. That was what I thought, like why females tend no, to play healer jobs. I don't trust other healers, that's my total... I'll go into an eight-man party, and if I don't trust the other healer, I will tell them, go into Cleric Stance and DPS, I will single heal this. And I will sit there and single heal. Yeah. I trust very few other healers. And the, I don't know what Rainy said, I mean, that's probably why, well, not probably, it is why I leveled up White Mage, because, you know, you get into certain groups and you just don't feel comfortable with your party members. So is that terms of, like, is that a kind of like a female thing where, like, it, it takes a bit more to earn a woman's trust over a man's? Do you think that's the thing? Not necessarily for me. I trust people right away until they give me a reason not to trust them. Oh, yeah, I'm the same way, yeah. Except when it comes to the health of my character for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like to die. Um, maybe from watching Sword Art Online and the whole death in there, but you oh, know. God, yeah. I don't know. I just don't like the whole. I'm just joking there, by the way. I'm, I don't know. I just don't like seeing my health stay around. 100, 200 health, uh, and the healer sitting there doing nothing kind of thing, or me having a debuff on me and it just sitting there and not coming off until it falls off itself, as opposed to them not learning how to use Insuna or defense. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, for me, it's, I trust most people, unless you're pretending to play a healer class, and then I'm very judgmental. Um... <laughs> I'm very harsh on tanks as well, but I've never played a tank, so I really can't put much input on that. But I have played DPS, and I'm very judgmental of them too, I guess. But they're not healing me, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know, I just like having the whole your your life is in my hands kind of thing. So is it kind of like you, you, you like the control it? of like the big... Because oh, obviously I healers... Do. I think that's why I was a banker, because I got to play with money all the time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's a control thing, I guess, but not a motherly thing for me. No, I mean, obviously, obviously we're on the enough. same point of me of not trusting too many people with her life in their hands kind of thing. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I so it, it, it's, more, it's pretty much I an indirect way. Wow, though. Because a lot of times in WoW, the healers really sucked in WoW. Um, at least on my server, they really sucked. So I got the mentality from there that healers are bad but unless they... How, how can you be wise. bad at Resto Druid? It's so easy. You just sit there and you throw hots all over the place. Uh, <laughs> and Life Bloom, and come on. I Resto Druid personally, but... It's so easy know, to heal. Their own. Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't was, a fan of Druid either. 
I mean, it's it's easy healing. I don't understand how people can't do it, but a lot of times they don't pay attention or they just seem to think that, oh, you'll live. I can just throw this this one single dot on you and you won't die kind of thing, but in actuality, you really need to know when to throw out your cures, when to throw out your um, your shields or whatever, because I, I had a holy pally, so I was a tank healer until they tried to change that, and I didn't like that change. And I also had a priest, so I had two different types of healers, just like I do in final. And, I don't know, they just sucked in WoW on healing, they sucked in Rift in healing, a lot of games I find people just suck at healing for some wow. reason. So. Oh, just, did that miss? I think that LB missed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that LB did miss. Well, anyways, um, we're did. obviously we're in the last boss and we're approaching the end of the dungeon. There's just one more topic I just wanted. It's a quick question. Um, so obviously, do you feel like there's some issues? I've read some articles where like women feel like there's a <laughs> level, a degree of um, sexism in the g gaming culture. Do you feel, have you ever? Uh, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Have you ever experienced uh, any kind of level of sexism while playing games, like online games? I have. Yeah. Okay. Watch out for this tornado, by the way. Somebody left one here. Oh shoot. Yeah. So, Emma, I'd like to hear your experience first. Like, uh, what was your experience in terms of like dealing with sexism in the uh, with male game dealing with male gamers? Well, I have not experienced it with Final as of yet, but in WoW, I got um. Ridicule a lot, like, oh, you're a girl, you don't know how to game. And, you know, part of that, I think, um, comes from, like, the gaming industry. Because some of the games that they market is for, like, they think it's, like, for females. Like, the Cooking Mama series. Like, I like to cook in real life. I don't want to play video games about cooking. <laughs> that sort of thing. Good joke. <laughs> you know? It's just like little things like that, and I think some of the gaming industry does fuel some of the sexism for the female gamers. Oh, look interesting. How about you, um, Rainy? What have you experienced, if anything, in terms of not even just game, just like um, in just the gaming culture in general? Like, if you've experienced in real life or, uh, yeah, I've, I've had the same the same thing with that. Emma has the whole the gaming in industry kind of targets a lot of their games more towards the male gender, so when the girls do play, it tends to be, one, they don't believe us, or two, they automatically think we're probably easy and try to get into our pants, even though we're possibly two to three thousand miles away from them, yeah. but you know, they still try. Um, and then, if I was on a DPS job, it's, I got sometimes the, oh, you don't know how to play your job, and it's like, are you kidding me? I outparsed you. Um... <laughs> Kind of thing, and it it just ended up being that way in a lot of different games, which is probably another reason I tend to heal more is I don't have to worry about DPSing and then people trying to have a bigger e penis than I have. <laughs> it it's just I think there's probably going to always be sex that it, it's always going to be there just because women are a minority in gaming as of right now. Um, yeah, that's a lot undeniable. Of girls I know, a lot of girls I know, they look at me like I'm crazy when they find out I'm a gamer chick. Um, but I personally don't care that I'm a gamer chick. It's something I enjoy. And I tried to get people into it. My sister thought I was crazy. Her husband got her into gaming, and she loves it now. So, I mean, until they try it, they're not going to know if they like it or not. Yeah, they'll knock it till you try it. Exactly. Um, exactly. But... Men do tend to think that women have possibly lower skills than them because games are more geared towards the males than they are females. Except for games like Emma says, the cooking game. Seriously, I cook all the time in real life. <laughs> and I have a high-level culinarian in final. I don't need to have another game just for cooking, really. Yeah. Um, so in terms of we, like us girls, we like this hack and slash sometimes too. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny a woman her trying to like <laughs> you know, let off some steam like that, you know. But um, anyways, like, have you ever had um any like really? I know Emma, you said that you haven't experienced it in a while, but in terms of you, I mean, in Final Fantasy. So like, can you, before we just to close this all up, like, um, I know we're we're passing, we're you know, 
we're way overdue for uh, leaving, but you know, <laughs> we got into a really interesting conversation. So, um, so we're gonna wrap this up, unfortunately. So, is there are there any final thoughts? Anything you want to say before uh, we sign out for tonight? Uh, we can start with Emma. If there's anything, final things you want to talk about regarding like that topic in general, or just something that we talked about today or tonight. I mean. Oh, no, I just really enjoyed it. Um, another funny tidbit is that I actually met my current boyfriend on Final Fantasy. So, oh, really? It, it, like, is it is he local know. or like? Uh... It's bittersweet. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yes, nice. Emma is going with bittersweet. Like, so are you like? Which is fun because he's my best bud. So I know, how right? how wait, how close do you guys live? Um. He lives in New York, and I live in Virginia. Oh wow, nice. So, like, you just recently just kind of like hooked up, kind of. I hooked up is not really the best word, <laughs> but I mean, you guys like. Yeah, we just started talking one day, and you know, it was really great conversations. And then, you know, we we skyped a little bit, then we just exchanged phone numbers, and we just enjoy each other's company. It's awesome. Like, if you guys don't mind me, like, asking you to say, you know, obviously, it's, or, my, my mom always taught me never ask a woman's actual age, but, but, like, just out of my own curiosity, like, what is your uh, age bracket? Like, how close, what, what's the age gap between you guys? This is out of my curiosity. You don't have oh, to ask. You don't have to answer. No, no, it's seven years. Honestly, that's not, that's not bad. I don't know, I don't get why people feel like, you know, oh, you're a pedophile, or, like, that's too much of an age gap. When, like, when you ask, like, the older generation of, like, Married couples, you, they just don't want to have like five to ten age difference, you know. Whereas people find yeah. it nowadays to be weird if you're dating out of like your typical uh, accepted quote unquote uh, age bracket. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I find that really uh, cool. Yeah, I'm dating um, in my age bracket. <laughs> <laughs> One of my really good friends, she met her current husband off of Guild Wars, I believe. And when they started dating, he was 40 and she was 21. And they're married, and they have a kid, and they're happy. <laughs> yeah. So, all so all the guys, all the girls out there who are, you know, who or especially the guys, if you feel like you're never gonna find a girl that's gonna be into your interest, it's a complete lie. These girls have peop have found guys um, that have the same interests, you know. So, I mean, there are gamer girls out there. You're just, just you know, you're either you're not trying hard enough to look. Have to find them. You just gotta find them. Yeah. Personally, for me. I went through this online website called geek2geek.com and I found my gamer girlfriend through that. She's awesome. She's more of a console player. Aww. She doesn't play MMOs. But um, uh, she's really good at playing like those horror like horror games like Resident Evil, uh, Dead Space, oh, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Like Assassin's Creed. And she's really like, like as soon as she buys a game, like she puts it automatically on expert if it's possible and she just kills through them. Like she, she's played the whole MGS series. And like when I watch her play, it's like, dude, I, I, I will be, I will admit right there and then, you play those games better than I do, and I'm gonna admit that 100%. Like, she's really clear of those games, and I'm, I was impressed by that. That turned me on. Sorry, as a gamer, that was like, damn, that is impressive. <laughs> and then she told me it's like, oh yeah, you want to see my speed run of Resident Evil 2? I'm like, what? Yeah, like, oh, I love speed. I played that game like 20 times plus already. Like, I love that game. I'm like, and then when I when I first met her, on our first date. I was like, there's no way you're a gamer. You do not look like, you know, I guess first impressions. Like, at first, are you sure you're a gamer? You look too much of a pretty girl to be a gamer. And because she was, she was all dolled yeah. up. I'm like, what? But I just felt hey, like, you know. Us gamer girls can doll ourselves up for a date once in a while. Yeah, I, it surprised me. I She, like, seriously, it, that first date was amazing. Because just the fact that I knew already, because we kind of spoke online for a bit first before we did our first date. And... I was just amazed. I was like, just because when we first uh, contacted each other, she kind of winked at me because they have like a little winking system, like in MidMatch.com, mm -hmm. and she winked at me. And I initially thought, because like I looked at a picture, it's probably a fake profile, like a spam profile. And and then I just like I just tried it. Okay, I just I just said in the initial message is like, uh, I know you're probably fake, but blah blah blah. Then I just kind of like started talking, and then she. <laughs> <laughs> she, I, she, she, she responds back. No, I, she, she laughed. I was like, no, I'm real, you know. And then it just started from there, you know. So then the rest is just history. So yeah, they're out there, guys. You know, mm -hmm. don't feel like they're not there, but they are there. Just don't be shy. I know a lot of gamers are shy, but you gotta like break out of your shell and just go out there. Cause yeah, as I said, these are like these girls are like living proof that they exist. <laughs> 
But anyways, know, our free company Emma has a lot of gamer girls in it. I I noticed that. <laughs> yep. But anyways, we I'm I'm gonna have to end this video. Also, we're gonna be talking for like an hour, you know. So. Probably. Um. <laughs> yeah, a lot of dancing too. The Mandarville's the best. Screw your bomb dances. But. No, it's not. Oh no! Fire no, dance. Bomb dance. Forever. <laughs> That's right. McClendon, All right. You're, you're <laughs> ruled by the girls here. Sorry. I know. Yeah. I have to respect. I am. I am the minority right now. But anyways, you ladies are. and gents. Uh, How do you feel? Humbling. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, Emma and uh, Rainy. I know. I haven't. I know we're in the same FC and on my alt, but I haven't really gotten to talk to you guys like this before. And you know, hopefully this changes things. You know, and I really appreciate you guys taking out. You know, taking the time to uh you know do a session with me and if you feel like you want to do some time later again you know just let me know you want to bring a friend along whatever you know if you have a friend that might be interested in this kind of stuff just let me know it's all about community building for me getting to know people deeper maybe than just you know them playing the game you know so till next time and um any last final thoughts before i'm officially actually stop this this stream <laughs> <laughs> Wanna say goodbye? Nope, the only thing I have to say, Rai, is more Ramu Extreme. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Did you get your pony yet? <laughs> but bye, everyone! Alright, bye. Till next time, guys. I'm bye. gonna end it right here, because it's gonna keep going, so... Till next time. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye!